ethics, ethical standards and their effective implementation are really critical for building uh -huh. trust. Is it possible to maintain ethical standards in the field of gene editing? You know, we have very, very clear standards in our field. Now, we can only edit somatic cells. That means you can, you know, correct wrong to right. By this way, we can use this in the treatment of rare diseases. But uh, we are not allowed to edit the germ cells such as if you want to do baby design. No, it's forbidden. You know, if baby can be customized, the results are unimaginable. Just like we open the Pandora's box. Therefore, the opening sentence of BGI ethical practice, humanity without technology might be ignorant, but the technology without the humanity must be dangerous. People are already living longer <laughs> sure. than previous generations. Better, yeah. Can gene technology help increase human lifespan even further? You know, let's look backward. In 1949, you know, the average life expectancy in China was less than 39 years. And today, it's near 080 years. It's very clear that it's not achieved through cutting edge technology. For example, gene editing, no, no, no. But through the total development of the science, technology, and society, especially the progress of agriculture, sufficient nutrition, better public health, and more advanced medical technology. If we can reduce the birth defect through gene technology, prevent tumors in the middle and late stages, treat dementia, achieve organ transplantation between different species, and so on, then I believe the average life expectancy of a human can reach 19, even to 100 years, whole century. The academic community generally believe that the upper limit of human life expectancy is 120 years. But if gene technology can be used, then the upper limit is like to be broken. Of course, that leads to a discussion of immortality. I want to make it very clear here that I personally oppose personal immortality because if there are no deaths, every birth would become a tragedy. Humans ultimately continue through the community, not individual. I've also joked that the first immortal person might be killed by the second immortal person by the physical waste.